Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Music Park Fan 62. Uh, here is my theory on who's going to go to where. The WWE draft is a little over a week away. Um, it starts on April the 29th edition of SmackDown, and it ends on the following Monday's Raw. Um, so. Here are my opinions on who's going to go where. Now, please note this. Nothing has been confirmed nor denied. Uh, this is just me. Um, now, some of these you may be like, what? Um, and that's fine. Um, now, I'm going to go one Raw and one SmackDown. Please note this. I'm not going to go over every name in this list, but I will try and go over as many as I can. First for Raw will be Randy Orton. Um, now, he is on the injured list right now, but he, I think he'll probably be back probably within the next month or so, hopefully. So I can see him being on Raw to start feuds with who knows. Uh, now, the first major trade in this deal is going to be AJ Styles for SmackDown. Because when he debuted, and for a long time, he was on SmackDown. Um, and I think he would be a good fit over there. Along with his buddies, the OC. Um, just because there's a lot they can do over there. Um, and I'll get to some of them. Next, staying on Raw is Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has been on Raw more than anybody for a long time. And so I feel like he'd be good. Now, if he went to SmackDown, that is fine. Uh, uh, the, another big trade to SmackDown is Austin Theory. Now, why Theory? It's because while he has on SmackDown in the past for a few with Pat McAfee and all that. It's just... I feel like with him, he, he, he would fit good over there because the problem with him on Raw is where Raw has three hours to fill, they could figure a way to put him in different situations. Um... Raw um, would be Shelton Benjamin. Now, Shelton is a talented person. He doesn't get the airtime he deserves. So I feel like with Raw, um, they could fit him in with something um, because at least with him and um, I forgot his tag partner's name was part of the Hurt Business, at least they were getting airtime every week. Unfortunately, when that went bust, uh, that's when a lot of their airtime started to, fl to flatten out. Staying on, uh, going to SmackDown now will be Baron Corbin. Now, with Baron, the thing is, with uh, Triple H in charge now, I don't know if he doesn't like Baron, uh, Baron Corbin or what. But he, he hasn't been on that as he was under Vince McMahon. Uh, next one, now we're going to the women for this one. Staying on Raw is the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Just because of the fact she is the Raw Women's Champion, um, and there are a lot of people who I will get to, she would have good feuds with. Going over to SmackDown will be Bobby Lashley. Because I feel like with Raw, there is only so much Bobby can do. And I feel like going over to SmackDown would give him more opportunities for different things. Uh, going back to Raw uh, with Bianca Belair as Montez Ford. Um, just because... This is one of the things I feel like they could do is split up the street profits in this situation because they're 
as as you can see, they're starting to focus more on Montez Ford in this situation and make him a big star. Uh, like I said, with SmackDown, Angelo Dawkins. Uh, for Raw, uh, Carmella. Now, with her recently coming back, she really hasn't got into any major feuds other than I think it's either on Raw tonight or on SmackDown Friday for the tag titles. Um, but she really, the problem is too with this situation, and this is the thing I hope Triple H doesn't do, is have her go back to that whole Carmella versus Bianca Belair feud, which seemed to go on forever. Going over to SmackDown now would be Bronson Reed. Now, the thing with Bronson Reed is this. He is a talented individual. He can do a lot of stuff most men his size cannot. But it's just he really hasn't gotten that momentum since, I guess, technically the call-up. And... It's just like he's done these small feuds, but he hasn't really done anything major. Uh, next one um, is Dakota Kai. Now, Dakota is a talented person for her size. Um, she does a, the Haluva kick like Sammy does, which looks like it hurts. But I feel like with her, she could easily be a single star instead of being part of Damon. Going over to SmackDown now is Cedric Alexander. Now, like I said with um, Shelton, um, he's a talented individual as well. It's just he really hasn't gotten the time, I feel like, in that with all of everybody else. So, the staying on Raw is Mia Yim. Now, Mia has had somewhat of a success recently, just not as much. So I feel like maybe staying on Raw, or even if she went to SmackDown, uh, she could come up with some of these good feuds. Now, going to SmackDown is Judgment Day. This one is sort of the obvious one, with Rhea Ripley uh, winning the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania. Um, so that kind of puts a weird position because normally you don't see a lot of SmackDown people on Raw and Raw people on SmackDown. So that seems like a um, good fit. The next one on Raw is Nikki Cross. Now, Nikki, since she came with her back to her sanity gimmick per se... It's been weird because she's had these up and down success. I believe she's been on main event a lot recently as well. But also, it just seems like she really hasn't gotten that momentum going since even around Survivor Series last year. So, I feel like, or even if she went to SmackDown in this situation as well, I feel like she could... Um, Have somewhat of a success. Now, uh, going over to SmackDown would be, uh, and this is the first NXT call up, would be Braun Breaker. Now, a lot of this will also have to do with the uh, uh, next NXT premium live event uh, at the end of May. But With, he really, since he lost the title, he really, he's been on TV a lot, but it's just like, I don't feel like there's not a lot he can accomplish anymore on NXT. Next one is, staying on Raw, is Trish Stratus. 
Now, I feel like with Trish, um, with her at least being in that feud with um, Becky Lynch, who I forgot to put on this list as well, um, I feel like that feud could be an interesting ordeal. Um, the next NXT call-up in this would be Gigi Dolan. Now, the thing with Gigi is this. And this will go for the other person, um, JC Jane, in this situation as well. It seems like ever since they split up Toxic Attraction, um, going into or right after Stan, uh, Vengeance Day, um, going into Stan and Deliver season, uh, they never really got much TV time other than um, a chance to go on to the ladder match at Stan and Deliver. So I feel like an NXT call-up is basically for them just because there's not a lot they can do on NXT. I mean, they've already won the uh, tag titles two or three times now. Um, and when they have tried to go after the women's title, they have failed. So I feel like a call-up would be good for them because they have had somewhat of success on SmackDown um, last August. But I feel like a permanent call-up would be uh, good for them. Just so they can get their name out there, which they have already have to a point. But then also, too, they can start all these feuds. And with JC, with, because the thing on Raw is they really don't have a proper heel in this situation. While they have heels, they don't really have that sick, sadistic heel like Alexa was under the um, goddess gimmick. But with JC, she kind of fits that description. So, uh, going to SmackDown now would be Elias. He really hasn't had much success as of recently, too. And um, I feel like going over to SmackDown would help. The next NXT call-up in this, which this may surprise you as well, would be Roxanne Perez. Now, she has been in NXT a year ago. And to a point, she has had one of the best years in a long time. She has won the NXT Tag Titles once. She has she won the um, SmackDown, or not SmackDown, NXT title off of uh, Mandy Rose back in December. She... Uh, was, you know, Rookie of the Year and all this other stuff. So I feel like her getting a call-up would be good just so she can start a lot of this new stuff again. And going to Raw would help her a lot. Now, even if she went to SmackDown in this situation, it would still be good as well. Um, but I do think Raw would seem like a little bit better fit for her because, in a way, she looks like the new AJ Lee. Um, just with the gear and everything. Now, going over to SmackDown would be Johnny Gargano. And also, I'm going to add Candice LeRae in there as well. Just because of the fact... Um, Ever since Stand and Deliver and such, Johnny really hasn't either been on TV much or so forth. Same with uh, Candice LeRae. So I feel like, you know, good them going to SmackDown would do some good. Uh, staying on Raw would be Maximum Male Models, but I hope they would start getting, like, the ring time. Because they really, have, other than some backstage skits, they really haven't done much. So I feel like that would help. Now, going over to SmackDown, a 
along with AJ Styles would be the OC. Now, the reason why I say the OC in this situation is because they really haven't done much on Raw recently. And I feel like going over to SmackDown would help them because they would have they could start a lot of these new feuds. The next one going to Raw would be Imperium. Now, Imperium, this would be good because they would start these new feuds with, you know, being a single star or a tag team. So, I feel like that would be good for them. Uh, going over to SmackDown would be um, Riddle. Now, the thing with Riddle is... Uh, you know... He's had somewhat of a success on SmackDown as well. And so I feel like that would help. Um, now, staying, I guess you can say staying on Raw in a way would be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, since they are the current tag team champions. Um, now, going over to SmackDown would be Alexa. Now, with this, there there's two parts to this where I feel like uh, anything can happen. Now, if she stays on Raw, um, Bray Wyatt would have to come over to Raw as well. So, if Bray wanted to start the Wyatt Six, or she could reunite with Bray again, but. Uh, but that could also happen if Bray stayed on SmackDown and Alexa went over to SmackDown. Um, going over to Raw would be Braun Strowman. Now, because with assuming this happens, you're losing Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley, two of the biggest men on Raw. So, Raw needs that big, meaty men. So, now on, go, now staying on SmackDown would be Roman Reigns, along with the Usos as well. So, going over to Raw, for two of them, in this case, would be Drew McIntyre, um, assuming days, and uh, the Viking Raiders. Now, the thing is, the Vi with the Viking Raiders, they've had somewhat of a good success on SmackDown, but I feel like going over the wall would help them out as well. So, um, the next one for SmackDown would be Mustafa Ali. Um, because he really ha hasn't done much on Raw other than get constantly beat up by uh, Bobby Lashley and them. Now, uh, the next one going over to Raw would be carrying cross with Scarlet. Um, because to a point, he really hasn't done much on SmackDown. And now the other person who could come with him as well is Rey Mysterio, just because they're starting that feud. Uh, going over to SmackDown would be Omos with MB. Because with Braun going over to Raw in this situation, SmackDown sort of needs like a giant. So you have that. Um, now, this next one is Madcap Moss with uh, his girlfriend, uh, Emma. Because, you know, they, they've done some on SmackDown, but they really haven't had anything constant. So I feel like going on Raw with them new abilities and stuff like that. The next one uh, going over to SmackDown would be The Miz 
because I, I feel like going over to SmackDown, he could start a lot of these new things. Um, going to Raw would be the new day with Big E because um, the New Day has had some good success on SmackDown. I feel like going over to Raw would help them out with a lot. Um, now, going over to SmackDown would be Asuka. Now, Asuka, the thing with her has been, she really hasn't had much success since losing uh, at WrestleMania. She really hasn't been on TV, so I feel like going over to SmackDown would help her out. Um, the next one going to Raw would be Ricochet. Now, because Ricochet could still team with Braun Strowman, um, if they decide to do that. Um, going over to SmackDown would also be Dana Brooke. Um, because she really hasn't done anything recently. Since Triple H scrapped the whole 24-7 ordeal. So, I feel like that. Um, the next one would be uh, the Latino World Order. Um, where they've started this thing with Judgment Day. They could still feud, but on separate brands if they wanted to. Uh, going over to SmackDown would be EO Sky. So, splitting up damage control. Um, since Bailey would be there as well. Um, now this one could be controversial. Oh, well, actually, no, sorry, wrong person. Uh, n another person go to wrong would be Nakamura. He just came back and he, he could start that feud with Karen Cross. So I feel like that. They would have a lot more airtime on Raw for this to play this out. Now, uh, and then last one uh, for SmackDown would be Bray Wyatt as well. Now, the next, this next one would be controversial, and that is Solo Sakura going to Raw um, because they could start this thing of splitting. Bloodline up. Now, other possible NXT call ups in this situation could be uh, pretty deadly because apparently they have been impressing some people uh, in dark matches. Um, going to Raw would be Hit Row because, face, they've not done anything. So I feel like going to Raw would help them out. The next person who could help as well on SmackDown would be the Creed Brothers because they've been in NXT forever. And I feel like depending on stuff, they, they would have good success. Uh, other possible uh, uh, going to Raw depending on stuff would be Uncle Howdy. Um, I don't know about that for sure. Uh, the rest of this list uh, could go to Raw as well as Liv Morgan, Raquel Gonzalez, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Charlotte, Lacey Evans, Natalia, Shotzi Blackheart, Sonya, Tegan, and Xia Lee. Some of those, like Tegan, Xia, and uh, Shotzi, I don't think I've ever been on Raw, so that would help them out. Uh, and then as far as SmackDown for those, they could figure some people 